Okay, just a small video this time. Uh, it's a small video for Mariam, my student. Uh, it's it's a simple uh, number, uh, but students directly get confused when they find the when they find the uh, absolute value or the radical or radical absolute value. It is the uh, function is radical absolute value of x, and we need to find if it is continuous at x equals zero. Okay, first to find the continuity. We need to find if the limit of s of x as x tends to zero minus equal should be equal to the limit of s of x, right? As x approaches zero plus. Okay, this is first thing, and both should be equal to limit of s of x as x tends to. Uh, sorry, uh, they should be uh, uh, equal to s of zero, right? Let's see. <clears throat> first, this is radical. This is limit, limit, as x approaches zero minus. This means x is negative. And again, let me mention it here again. If we have radical x squared, does not equal to x for sure. It is equal to absolute value of x because it's a square root, right? Square root. Inside the square, outside the square root, the square root is a positive number. So this should be a positive number. And this to be a positive number, two cases to, to be considered. The answer of that is x. If x is positive, right, greater than zero, and it is minus x if x is negative, less than zero. If x by itself a negative number, we should multiply with minus to have it positive, right? And if x is positive, we leave it as it is positive. The same here. What's the mean? X approaches zero minus. It approaches zero minus. This means X is less than zero. This means it's negative. So what we do here to, to take out the absolute value, we should put minus X. This means we substitute now zero radical minus zero is radical zero. It's zero. And the limit of F of X, which is radical absolute value of x as x approaches zero plus zero plus means x is above zero so the answer is directly x right so what we have here is equal to radical zero which is also to zero this this means limit exists right this means limit of s of x as x approaches zero minus is equal to limit of s of x as x approaches 0 plus which is equal to limit of s of x as x approaches 0. Now, what else we should have? We should have the s of 0, which is radical absolute value of 0, which is radical 0, also equal to 0. This means the limit of s of x when x approaches 0 minus equal to the limit of s of x as x approaches 0 plus is equal to s of uh, 0, this means limit exists, right? The limit exists and is equal to s of 0, all of them 0. This means s of x or s is continuous, is continuous at x equal 0. And that's it.